Thanks to its consolidated experience in the low-voltage switchgear sector, ABB is pleased to present the first motor control center with integrated intelligence, MNSIS. MNSIS is a motor control center with front access that may be installed against the wall. It is equipped with revolutionary technology that guarantees performance at the top end of the range and a perfect integration in control and supervision systems which manage modern process systems. The basic elements of the MNSIS frame are C-shaped steel profiles with 25mm hole pattern in accordance with DIN 43660. The 25mm E-module is on the other hand used as a base unit for defining dimensions and overall sizes. In order to guarantee service continuity and reduce to a minimum the maintenance time, the feeders are withdrawables. The main bus bars, made of electrolytic copper, which are installed in the rear part of the panels with overlapping phases, reduce the overall dimensions of the switchgear to a minimum. The branch bus bars are, on the other hand, positioned vertically inside each column and embedded inside the multifunctional wall to reduce the possibility of faults and guarantee total safety even with the units withdrawn. One of the significant construction details is the double cable duct. One is dedicated just to the power cables and the other to the auxiliary cables and instrumentation in order to increase even further the high standards of safety guaranteed by ABB switchgears. Safety of the personnel responsible for the systems is another of the fundamental elements considered for the design and manufacture of the MNS low-voltage systems. In this respect, the MNS IS is tested and certified in accordance with the technical report IEC 61641 to provide protection against internal arcs up to 100 kA, thereby satisfying all the seven specified criteria. Let us now look in detail at the main components of the MNSIS system. All the control and protection functions of the single feeders are managed by the M-Control Control and Protection Unit. Each M-Start power module has its own M-Control, which thanks to the association of the ID code of the unit itself, signals the insertion of a unit of a type other than that planned. M-Control is a scalable device and allows via software, for example, modification of the protection settings. Multiple logic blocks such as AND, OR or Timer may be selected in the Control Functions category. The system functions are supplied as functional modules to be downloaded in the control unit. The system functions can be increased at any time without the need for hardware modifications and additional cabling. Amongst the various motor protections, it is also possible to have cards for monitoring the temperature of the PTC or PT100 motors. The connection to the higher supervision systems takes place through the M-Link interface module. Alternatively, a direct connection may be made for every user through an additional card with Profibus communication mounted on the selected M-Control. All the main operation and protection devices, such as circuit breakers, isolators and contactors, are contained inside withdrawable modules, known as M-Start. The front of each module is fitted with the control handle and the four signalling LEDs. With respect to the traditional units, the M-Start modules use the thermal image instead of the traditional bimetallic thermal relays. This provides greater flexibility and standardization of the components. MNSIS introduces the new technique of temperature sensors on the withdrawable units for monitoring the power connections. This is fundamental information for checking the correct insertion of the modules in order to optimize the maintenance of the switchgear identifying critical situations in advance in order to prevent unnecessary and costly plant stoppages for extraordinary maintenance. The measurements are taken using current and voltage sensors, which unlike traditional transformers, do not suffer from saturation phenomena. This allows constant monitoring of consumption and all the electrical parameters of the various users, which are fundamental data with a view to energy efficiency. Both the power and auxiliary contacts are equipped with self-locating technology to avoid problems during insertion of the unit. 
The phases of the power contacts are always segregated from each other to prevent any type of fault. The control handle on the front of the units enables the status of the unit to be selected and it may be padlocked to guarantee maximum safety. The internal connections between the power module and the control unit are made by means of the M-conduct modules, which are tested before assembling the switchgear, thereby eliminating any possible malfunctions or cabling errors. There is also a remote control unit terminal box, used for the hardwired controls coming from the field, which act directly on the circuit of the withdrawable modules, such as, for example, emergency stopping. Being able to constantly monitor and control the speed of the motors by means of the drives becomes crucial from an energy efficiency point of view. MNSIS houses feeders equipped with ABB ACS850 type frequency inverter with a withdrawable configuration up to 55 kilowatts and a fixed configuration for motors up to 200 kilowatts. The withdrawable module houses all the necessary components for controlling a variable speed motor and the EMC filter. These users are also perfectly integrated inside the system and may be operated and monitored by using the M-View panel. The keypad mounted on the front of the unit may be used to read the drive data, such as for example the model, and enter the various parameter settings such as maximum current or maximum torque. In order to optimize the connection inside the MNSIS, there is a data concentrator called M-Link, which acts as the interface between the M-Control modules and the higher supervision systems type ECS or DCS, as well as towards the M-View touchscreen panel mounted on the front of the switchgear. M-Link operates as a standard slave field bus device, compatible with the most widely used industrial protocols, such as Profibus, Profinet or Modbus. As well as the field bus interface, M-Link also provides a separate Ethernet port. This interface is provided as standard and allows applications such as parameterization, web interface and OPC server to be easily and simultaneously available on a standard Ethernet network. MNSIS may be configured for redundant communication. This allows communication through two independent data paths, from the electrical switchboard to the supervision system. The local operation of all the users is performed by means of the M-View touchscreen control panel. In order to guarantee maximum safety, it is possible to set up various profiles with various functions and personalized access levels. M-View may be used to perform all the user control operations and at the same time interrogate the system for displaying all the data regarding the switchgear, including the maintenance data. MNSIS is an international product installed throughout the world, the control panel of which is available in various languages. MView acts as a web interface. The web server runs as an application on MLink, and it may be accessed by any PC fitted with web browser software. This allows for the same operations to be performed remotely, which can be carried out on the front of the switchgear depending on the particular authorizations.